Hi friends, in this lecture we will study about surface areas and volumes and first terms, spheres, hemispheres and combination of different solids. This is a very important chapter for your examination. Please listen carefully and practice all the numerical problems. The study of measurements of objects is very essential due to its applications in everyday life. Let us learn about the surface area and volume of cylinder cone and spheres. A cylinder has two congruent and parallel circular base. Please see the free diagram on the right hand side. There are two circular base. One is shown at the bottom as a dotted line and another one is at the top. These two circular base are connected through a curved surface area and these are separated by a distance h which is height of the cylinder. The line segment joining the center of the two base, bases is the height of the cylinder. It is also known as axis. The axis is shown in dotted lines in the diagram. Surface area of the cylinder refers to the area of the external surface, the external surface of the cylinder. There can be two cases, a hollow cylinder and a solid cylinder. A hollow cylinder has only curved surface area, that is outer area, called curved surface area or the lateral surface area of the hollow cylinder. A solid cylinder has two circular surfaces and a curved surface area. This is solid cylinder is completely filled inside. There is no hollowness and it is completely one solid curved surface area plus it is top and bottom surfaces. The total surface area is the sum of two circular regions and curved surface area. Curved surface area of cylinder is given by the formula 2 pi r h where 2 pi is a constant, r is the radius, see it is the radius here at the bottom as well as the top, both are same radius and height, height is shown in the dotted lines. So, curved surface area of the cylinder is 2 pi r h. The total surface area of the solid cylinder is curved surface area plus 2 into area of the base units and the top units. Therefore, it is given by the formula 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square. That is equal to, if we take 2 pi r common, it becomes TSA of solid cylinder is 2 pi r into h plus r square units. Point number 9. The volume of a solid cylinder is given as equals area of the base into height. That is area of the base into the height that is area of the base is pi r square into h cubic unit because it is a volume we have to express it as cubic units please remember this formula it will help you in calculating and solving the numerical problems
Let us take example number 1. Find the curved surface area of a right circular cylinder whose height and radius of the base are 30 cm and 3.5 cm respectively. In this problem, height is 30 cm and radius is 3.5 cm. And we are required to find the curved surface area for which we have to remember the formula. CSA of cylinder is given by the formula 2 pi r h. r is the radius and h is the height and 2 pi is the constant. Therefore, substituting the values of r and h, we get CSI of the cylinder equals 2 into 22 by 7 into 3.5 into 30. That is equal to 660 centimeter square. Problem number 2. The curved surface area of a right circular cylinder of height 14 centimeter is 88 centimeter square. Find the radius of the base of the cylinder. Here, the curved surface area is given and it is 88 centimeter square. And the height of the cylinder is given as 14 centimeters. We are required to find the radius of the base of the cylinder. Let us solve it. Given. H is equal to 14 and CSI is equal to 88 centimeters square. So, what is the value of R? Therefore, we have to use the formula CSI of cylinder equals 2 pi RH. That is 88 equals 2 into 22 by 7 into R into H. Therefore, R is realigning. Real the numer numerals we get R you keep on one side, all the numbers on the other side. Therefore, R you written as it is 88 into 7, 7 cross multiplying which is in denominator divided by 2 into 22 into 40 and we simplifying and cancelling we get R is equal to 1 centimeter. Problem number 3. The radii of two right circular cylinders are in the ratio 2 is to 3 and their heights are in the ratio 5 is to 4. Calculate the ratio of their curved surface areas. Here in this problem, the radius are given as ratio. There are two circular cylinders two different circular cylinders whose radius are in the ratio 2 is to 3. If the radius of cylinder 1 is 2, then radius of cylinder 2 is 3. Similarly, the height of the first cylinder is 5 and, and the height of second cylinder is 4 in terms of ratio. And the required also he has asked in terms of ratios. Therefore, we have to apply the formula and divide it. Let the radii of two cylinders be 2R and 3R and the height is 5H and 4H. Therefore, CSA1 by CSA2 that is curved area curved surface area of cylinder 1 divided by curved surface area of the cylinder 2 equals 2 pi R1 H1 divided by 2 pi R2 H2 where R1 is the radius of first cylinder and H is the height of first cylinder. R2 is the radius of second cylinder and H2 is the height of the second cylinder. Therefore, substituting in terms of ratios, 
the first cylinder is 2R radius and height is 5H and second cylinder is 2 pi 3R into 4H. We get simplifying we get the ratio 2 pi 2 pi gets cancelled, RR gets cancelled, HH get, gets cancelled, 2 goes 2 times, 2 into 3 is 6 and 5 remains as it is. Therefore, the ratio of CSA1 to CSA2 is 5 by 6. Now, we will study about the cone. The figure shows a cone. A cone has a circular base at the bottom and a tapering edge at the top. This top is called vertex and the circular base has got a radius r and the vertex and the circular base are separated by a right angled triangle h at h whose height is h. The slanting portion of the cone has a length L. This L is called slant height. This is slant height. And this is same as hypotenuse of a Pythagoras theorem. These two are others. H and R are two sides and L is the hypotenuse which is slant height. A cone is a solid object that tapers smoothly from a flat circular base to a point called vertex. If a right angle triangle is revolved, if a right angle triangle, this is a right angle triangle, is a revolved about one side containing the right angle that is revolved around this height h, then the solid form is a circular cone. Given a right circular cone which is sliced through a plane parallel to its base, when the smaller conical portion is removed, the resulting solid is called a frustum of a right circular cone. In its simplest term, if you cut off the top portion of a cone, the bottom portion is called frustum of a cone. Slant height L is, is formed by using Pythagoras theorem which says L square is equal to H square plus R square or L is equal to square root of H square plus R square where R is the radius and H is the height. Curved surface area of a cone that is equal to half into 2 pi r into L where 2 pi r is the circumference of the base. Circumference of the base is 2 pi r and length is L. Hence curved surface area is this 2 and 2 gets cancelled and it is pi r L. You remember CSA of a cone full cone is pi r l. Total surface area of a right circular cone TSA equals pi r pi r into r plus l square units. Volume of a cone is one third of a cylinder. Suppose we take a cylinder of equal dimensions that is height h and r and radius r full cylinder cone is found to be one third of the volume of a cylinder and the volume of cylinder is given by volume of a cone is given by 1 by 3 pi r square h cubic units. Now let us study about first term of a cone. As I said earlier, when we remove the top portion of the cone, the bottom portion is called the first term of a cone. In the figure on the left side, 
this is a full core and we have cut off at this point and the bottom remains so here we have divided the cone into two parts at the bottom portion is called frustum of a cone the formulae involving the frustum of a cone are volume of a frustum of a cone is one third of rh into r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 r2 that is the volume of a frustum this is the volume of a frustum curved surface area since curved surface area is given by pi r l into r1 plus r2 please note r1 is the radius of the of the cone or a frustum at the bottom a bigger a larger diameter and r2 is a smaller diameter you see the diagram here the the upper portion is a small radius and the bottom portion has got a bigger radius. So R1 is a bigger radius and R2 is a smaller radius. Therefore, coming back to the curved surface area of a frustum of a cone, it is given by pi into R, R is the radius of the cone, into R1 plus R2 where L is given by L is the height of the frustum. L is equal to H square. H is the height of the frustum into R1 minus R2 under. The total surface area of frustum of a cone is given by pi RL into R1 plus R2 plus pi into R1 square plus R2 square where h is equal to vertical height of the frustum, l is the slant height of the frustum, r1 and r2 are radii of the two bases or ends, two bases or two ends of the frustum. Let us solve some of the problems associated with the cone. Problem number four. The diameter of a cone is 14 centimeters and its slant height is 10 centimeters. Find the curved surface area of the cone. So, here diameter is given as 14 centimeters. But in the formula, we are having radius. That is why we are supposed to calculate the radius. So we know radius is equal to diameter by 2 that is r is equal to d by 2 that is equal to 14 by 2 that is equal to 7 centimeters. Hence r of the radius of the cone is 7 centimeters and its slant height is given as 10 centimeters l is equal to 10 centimeters. Find the cross sectional area. The curved surface area CSA of the cone equals half into 2 pi r into L as we know and if you cancel 2, 2 gets cancelled here and it is pi r L. Therefore, curved surface area is pi r L, pi is 22 by 7, r is 7 and L is 10. Therefore, CSA of the given cone is 220 centimeter square. Problem number 5. Find the total surface area of a cone whose slant height is 9 meters and radius of the base is 14 meters. So, we are required to find out, find the total surface area. So, the total surface area of the cone is given by the formula. Uh, pi r into r plus l. Therefore, pi is 22 by 7 and r is radius is 14 meter 14 into r plus l is 14 plus 9. Therefore, that is 22 into 7 goes 2 times 14 into
4 22 into 2 into 23 and you find out the answer here. The curved surface area of a cone is 4070 centimeter square and its diameter is 70 centimeter. What is the slant height? Here the diameter is given as 70 centimeter and therefore the radius is 70 by 2 that is equal to 35 centimeter and he has given the curved surface area as 4070 centimeter square. Therefore, CSA is equal to pi RL that is 4070 equals 22 by 7 into 35 into L. Therefore, we can calculate L keeping L on one side and all other numerals on the, one, on the other side, we get 4070 into 7 divided by 22 into 35 that is equal to 37 centimeter. Problem number 7. The slant height and diameter of the base of a conical dome are 25 meters and 14 meters respectively. Find the cost of whitewashing its curved surface area at the rate of 210 rupees 210 per 100 meter square. Please underline the rate as 210 per 100 meter square. But we will, we have required to calculate curved surface area in terms of meters. So let us find out. Given L is equal to 25, that is slant height is 25. Diameter, you see diameter is given as 14 meters, therefore radius will be 14 by 2, that is equal to 7. So, cut surface area we have to find out as well as cost of whitewashing. We know cut surface area of a cone is given by pi r l, pi into r into l, that is equal to 22 by 7 into 7 into 25. Hence, multiplying all these values, 7 goes 7 times 22 into 25. That is equal to 550 meters square. So, we, rate of whitewashing per square meter is 210 divided by 100. That is equal to rupees 2 rupees 10 paise per meter square. Therefore, cost of whitewashing is equal to 550 into 2.1 that is equal to 11.55. Problem number 8. The radius and slant height of a cone is 10 centimeters and 26 centimeters respectively. Find its volume. So, he has given radius and the slant height. Given R is equal to 10 centimeter, I is L is equal to 26 centimeters, H we have to find out as well as volume also we are required to find. Therefore, slant height is given by the formula L is equal to square root of H square that is the vertical height and R square plus R square. So, L is equal to square root of H square plus R square, where R is the radius and H is the height. Therefore, H is given by H is equal to L square minus R square. Therefore, substituting L as 26 and R as 10, we get H is equal to under root 26 square minus 10 square. 26 square is 676 and 10 square is 100. Therefore, that is equal 
to 576 and taking square root of 576 we get 24 centimeter therefore the height of the cone is 24 centimeter now we are required to find the volume volume is given by the formula 1 by 3 pi into r square into h that is equal to 1 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 10 into 10 into 24 that is equal to simplifying we get we get 2512 cubic centimeter that is the answer Please see the table. This table shows the relationship between radius and height with respect to lateral surface area or curved surface area, the total surface area and the volume, all these three parameters of a cylinder as well as it shows the volume of a cone. When R is equal to H, that is the radius and the height of the solid is same, then LSA or curved surface area is 2 pi R square and total surface area is 4 pi R square and volume is pi R cube and volume of the cone is one third pi R cube. You see here the volume of a cylinder is pi R cube and its volume of a cone is one third of the cylinder. These relations you please see here for different values of R and H it is given. For example, in the serial number 2, R is equal to 2R and H is retaining same height. That is the radius is increased by 2. So these are the different relationships. Just observe, observe all these calculations, all these tabular columns, how the volume, the total surface area and curved surface area of cylinder and volume of cone vary with respect to radius and height. This is for your information. Let's begin. Please see the figure on the right hand side. There is a circular disc and its a diameter. Diameter ends here and extended. This is the axis of the diameter. If a circular disc is rotated, it is rotated about its diameter, the solid thus generated is called sphere. This is a circle. If it rotates, the solid generated is a sphere. A sphere is a three-dimensional figure which is made up of points at the constant difference, constant distance called a radius from a fixed point. There is a fixed point at the center of this circular disk and this is a, a sphere is a three-dimensional. When you rotate the disk and Distance is measured equidistant from the center, from a fixed point, center of the sphere, the solid is a sphere. When you cut, when we divide the sphere into two equal parts, the total parts, one part of the sphere is called hemisphere. That is half of the sphere is hemisphere. This is one sphere and the hemisphere and the other. So a sphere is made up of two hemispheres. Curved surface area of a sphere, that is a full sphere, is 4 pi r square squared units. Therefore, curved surface area of hemisphere is 4 pi r square divided by 2. That is equal to 2 pi r square square units. 
Therefore, the surface area of a sphere is equal to the curved surface area of a cylinder just containing it. So, if you want to find out the surface area of a sphere, what you have to do is you have to calculate the curved surface area of a cylinder containing this sphere. That is, you, you have a cylinder embedded outside the heavy spheres, then the curved surface area of the cylinder is equal to the curved surface area of the sphere. Total surface area of the solid sphere is curved surface area of hemisphere plus surface area of the base of the circle. So, this hemisphere, you have to take curved surface hemisphere, curved surface area of the hemisphere plus the surface area of this base circle. This is the base circle. The black colored is a base circle. Therefore, that is given by curved surface area of hemisphere is 2 pi r square plus pi r square. That is equal to 3 pi r square. Therefore, volume of this sphere is equal to 4 by 3 into pi r cube of cubic units. Therefore, volume of the sphere is half of the volume of the sphere. That is equal to 2 by 3 pi r cube. It is a pi r cube remains as it is. This 4 by 3 becomes 2 by 3 because we are dividing it by 2. A cylinder of height 8 centimeters and a perimeter of the base is 44 centimeters. Find the curved surface area. In this problem, height is given in as 8 centimeters, but they have neither given slant height nor the radius, whereas perimeter is given. Perimeter is given as 44 centimeters. We know that perimeter is 2 pi r. Hence, 2 pi r is equal to 44 centimeters. We can calculate r from this equation. r becomes 44 divided by 2 pi. That becomes, that is equal to 2 goes 22 times, this is 22 by 7, 7 goes up, therefore this is 7. 7 centimeter is the radius of the cylinder. Therefore, curved surface area of cylinder is 2 pi r h, that is equal to 2 into 22 by 7 into 7 into 8. Therefore, 7, 7 gets cancelled, it is 2 into 22 into 8. The answer is 352 square centimeter. Please multiply and solve and verify this problem. Problem number 10. A cone has a slant height 5 centimeters and height and H has height as 4 centimeters. Find the curved surface area. Here R is not given. He has given L and H. We have to find out r and also curved surface area. We know that for a cone, curved surface area is equal to pi r l. That is a square pi r l square centimeters. And we have to find r from l square is equal to under root h square plus r square. R rearranging r square is equal to l square minus h square. That is, L is 5 and H is 4. We know from the Pythagoras theorem, if one hypotenuse is 5 and one side is 4, then the third side is 3. Therefore, we have also verified here by equation and R becomes square root of 9 equals to 3. Therefore, the curved surface area is equal to pi r l that is equal to 22 by 7 into r is 3 we have found here into l is given as 5 and hence this is 330 divided by 7 that is equal to 47.14 square centimeter. 
problem number 11. Find the curved surface area of a solid sphere whose radius is 7 cm. Here only R is given. Curved surface area of a solid sphere is 4 pi r square. Therefore, we have to simply substitute the value of r. Therefore, CSA is equal to 4 pi into 7 square. Pi is 22 by 7. Therefore, 4 into 22 by 7 into 7 into 7. Therefore, it becomes 28 into 22 that is equal to 88 into 7. 616 cm square. Problem number 12. How many balls each of radius 1 cm can be made from a solid sphere of lead of radius 8 cm? Here one big sphere of lead is given. From there we have to make a number of balls of each 1 cm. The radius of the sphere, big sphere is 8 and small sphere is, the small balls is 1 cm and we have to find the n, the number of balls. Let r be the sphere, radius of sphere and small r be the radius of the ball. Capital R is a sphere and small r is a ball. Therefore, we know the formula, volume of the sphere is equal to 4 by 3 capital R cube. This is the volume of the sphere and volume of the ball is same formula but radius is different. Here radius is small r. 4 by 3 pi into small r cube. Therefore, number of balls is equal to volume of sphere over divided by volume of the ball. Therefore, equation 1 by equation 2 is equal to r cube by small r cube capital R cube divided by small r cube. Capital R is 8. So therefore R cube is 8 into 8 into 8 divided by small r cube is 1 into 1 into 1. Therefore we get simplifying number of balls that can be made is equal to 512. Let us solve problem number 13. A 5 meter wide cloth is used to make a conical tent of base 14 meters and height 24 meter. So we are using a cloth whose width is 5 meter to make a conical tent whose diameter is 14 meters and height is 24 meter. Therefore, we have to find the cost of cloth used at the rate of 25 per meter. So, we have to require to find the length of cloth. Total surface area of the cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h. Curved surface area is pi r l. So, this total surface area is not required. Only curved surface area is required. Therefore, R radius is given as diameter by 2, that is 14 by 2 is equal to 7 meters. Therefore, L square, the slant height is R square plus H square. Please remember, when you are calculating the curved surface of area of the cone, you have to find the length, slant height, slant height L. Therefore, L square is equal to R square plus H square. Therefore, 7 into 7, r square is 7 into 7, h is 24 into 24, that is equal to 7 into 7 is 49, plus 24 into 24 is 576. Adding these two, we get 625. Therefore, L is equal to square root of 625 equals 25 meter. Now we have to find the curved surface area CSA. Therefore, substituting the values of R and L in this equation pi R L, we get CSA is equal to pi. Pi value is 22 by 7 into R is 7 into 21. That is 550 
square meters. Now we are given a cloth whose width is 5 meter. The length of cloth is equal to 550 divided by 5 that is equal to 110 meters. Therefore, the given cost per meter of the cloth is rupees 25. It is given. Therefore, the total cost of cloth is 110 meter into 25. That is equal to 2750. This is the answer. Problem number 40. A medicine capsule is in the shape of a cylinder whose two hemispheres stuck to each other as it ends as shown in the figure. See, this is a cylinder. It has got two hemispheres. One is at the bottom and the other one is at the top. The total length is 14 mm of the capsule is 14 mm and the diameter of the capsule is 5 mm. Find the surface area of the capsule. Then given H is equal to 14, D is equal to 5. Therefore, R is equal to D by 2, that is equal to 5 by 2, that is equal to 2.5 mm. Therefore, radius is 2.5 mm. The total surface area of the solid is equal to curved surface area of the cylinder plus 2 into curved surface area of the hemisphere. That is, we have to find the curved surface area of the hemisphere, upper one and the lower one, plus the surface area of the cylinder. So, that is given by CSA of cylinder is 2 pi r h into 2, 2 numbers of hemisphere into 2 pi r square. Therefore, 2 pi r common into h plus 2 r. Substituting, we get 2 into pi is 22 by 7 into 2.5 r is 2.5 into 14 h is 14. It is given as 14 plus 2 into r, 2 into 2.5. Simplifying, we get 110 divided by 7, 2 into 2.5 is 5, 5 into 22 is 110 divided by 7 into 2 into 2.5 is 5, 5 plus 14 is 19 square mm. Simplifying, we get total surface area of the capsule is equal to 298.6 square mm. A solid uh, problem number 50. A solid is composed of a cylinder with a spherical end. If the whole length of solid is 104 centimeter and radius of each hemispherical end is 7 centimeters, find the cost of polishing its surface at the rate of rupees 5 per 100 centimeter square. Please read it. Treat the problem once again. Here the solid is composed of a cylinder and a hemispherical end. The, if the whole length is 104 cm, the radius of each hemisphere is 7 cm. That means there is a hemisphere at the top as well as at the bottom. Let us see the figure. So, the body comprises of a cylinder and two hemispheres. This is one hemisphere. And this is another hemisphere. The total length of the solid from the top to bottom including hemisphere is 104 cm. The radius of each hemisphere is 7 cm. The cost of polishing the surface is rupees 5. So we have to find out the cost of polishing. For that we need total surface area. So, for calculating total surface area, we have to find the cylinder plus 2 into 
curved surface area of the hemisphere. That is equal to 2 pi r h. 2 pi r h for the cylinder. 2 into 2 pi r square is the for a hemisphere. Therefore, 2 pi r is common. And here, the height of the cylinder is, this is total he has given as 104. In this, we have to subtract 7 centimeters of the upper hemisphere and 7 centimeters for the lower hemisphere. Therefore, the length becomes 104 minus 7 minus 7. That is, plus the 2 into 2 pi r square. For 2 pi r is take common, and therefore we have to take 2, 2 r, that is 2 r is 7. Simplifying, this becomes 90. 90 plus 40, 104. 104 into 2 pi r. 2 pi is 2 into 22 by 7 into r is 7. We get 4, 5, 7, 6 centimeters square. This is the answer. Cost of polishing, we have to find out. That is equal to TSA into rate per 100 centimeters square. Therefore, total surface area is 4, 5, 7, 6 into 5 divided by 100. This is 100 centimeter. So, we have to divide it. Therefore, we get the answer as total cost is 228.8. Problem number 16. The diameter of a metallic surface is 4.2 cm. It is melted and recast a right circular cone of height 8.4 cm. Find the radius of the base of the cone. Therefore, D is equal to 4.2 cm and therefore R is 2.1 cm, capital R, and H is 8.4 cm. This is the dimensions of the metallic sphere. And now we have to make a cone out of it. Therefore, volume of the sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube. And volume of the cone is 1 third pi r square h. Therefore, 4 by 3 pi r cube is equal to 1 by 3 pi r square h. The left side is for sphere and the right side is for cone. Therefore, 4 r cube is equal to r square into h. Therefore, r square is equal to 4 r cube divided by 8.4. Therefore, r is given by 4 into 9.26 divided by 8.4. That is equal to under root 4.41. This is the answer, radius. So, radius of the cone is 4 square root 4.41. Problem number 17. A toy is in the form of a hemisphere surmounted by a right circular cone. So, the, this is hemisphere. B, P, C is a hemisphere and it is mounted on the top by a cone. B, A, C, O. The height of the cone is 2 cm that is h is equal to 2 cm and diameter bc is 4 cm determine the volume of the toy so we are required to find the volume given d is equal to 4 therefore r is equal to d by 2 is equal to 2 cm and height is 2 cm therefore volume of the toy is given by 2 by 3 pi r cube plus 1 by 3 pi r square h. This is hemisphere. That is pi r square by 3 into 2 r plus h. Therefore, it is pi r is 2 pi into 2 square divided by 3 into 2 into 2 plus 2. Therefore, it is 25.12 cubic centimeter. 
this is the answer. Problem number 18. How many silver coins of 1.75 cm in diameter and thickness 2 mm can be casted and melted to form a cuboid of dimensions 5.5 cm by 10 cm by 3.5 cm. Here we have to melt coins to make a cube of dimensions 5.5 into 10 into 3.5 cm cube. Given volume of the cuboid is 5.5 into 10 into 3.5 that is equal to 192.5 cubic centimeter. Diameter of the coin D is 1.75 centimeter. Radius of the coin is therefore 1.75 divided by 2 that is equal to 0 0.875. <coughs> Thickness of coin T is equal to 2 mm that is equal to mm we have to convert into centimeter. Therefore 2 divided by 10 that is equal to 0 0.2 centimeter because all other dimensions are in terms of centimeter. Only thickness is mm and it has to be converted into centimeter. Therefore, total volume of coins is equal to number of coins into area into thickness. Therefore, volume of coins is equal to n into pi r square t, where t is the thickness. Therefore, n into pi into 0 0.875 whole square into 0 0.2. That is equal to n pi into 0 0.875 into 0 0.875 into 0.2. That is equal to n into we get 0 0.4808. Therefore, number of coins n is equal to 192 is the total cube divided by 0 0.4808. That is approximately is equal to 400 coins. Problem number 19. An open metal bucket is in the shape of a frustum of a cone. Please note it is a metal bucket, not a plastic bucket. Metal bucket has got slightly different shape that we will be showing in the figure. Mounted on a hollow cylinder base made of same metallic sheets. The diameters of two circular ends of the bucket are 45 cm and 25 cm. The total vertical height is of the bucket is 40 cm and that of cylindrical part is 6 cm. Find the area of the metal sheet used. Do not take into account the handle. That means we should not consider the metal required for the handle. Let us do it. Let us first examine the problem. Bucket has three different shapes. One is frustum of a cone and next is the hollow cylindrical base which is used to store the water and it has got a stand also. And the upper diameter of the bucket is 45 centimeters and the lower Bottom diameter is 25 centimeters and the height of bucket is 40 centimeters including that of the base of the stand, cylindrical stand and height of the cylindrical part is 6 centimeters. Let us draw, see the diagram. This is the bucket. This is the upper diameter given as 45 centimeters. Diameter is 45 centimeters. And this is a frustum. This part is frustum. And, and its bottom diameter is 25. The circular bottom at the bottom is 25 centimeters. Height of the bucket from here, the ground to up to the top here is 40 centimeters. And height of the base, cylindrical part, this bottom is a cylindrical part which is called the stand or a base is 6 centimeters height. 
we have to find the area total surface area of the metal sheet so let us analyze area of the metal sheet is equal to curved surface area of the frustum plus curved surface area of the base and curved surface area of the cylinder these three parts let us take one by one First, let us consider frustum, that is a bigger diameter and a smaller diagonal. Height is given as 40 centimeters minus 6. 6 of the cylindrical part we have to remove it. Therefore, H is equal to 34. And diameter D1 is given as 45. Therefore, R1 is 45 by 2 is equal to 22.5. D2 is also given as 25. Therefore, R2 is 25 by 2, that is equal to 12.5. We know the slant height of the frustum is given by under root h square plus R1 minus R2 whole square. Therefore, h square is 34 square plus 10 square. Therefore, it is L is equal to 35.44 centimeter. Now we have having found the L, we have to find the curved surface area of the frustum. That is equal to pi R L. That is equal to pi into R is R1 plus R2 into L. L is 35 plus 44. R1 is 22.5, R2 is 12.5. Therefore, curved surface area of the frustum is pi into 1240.4. Let it be equation 1. Now we have calculated for this part of the bucket. Now let us calculate for the base. Base is the circular portion whose radius is 12.5 cm. Therefore, area of the base is pi r square that is pi into 12.5 whole square that is equal to pi into 12.5 into 12.5. That is 156.25 centimeter square. Let it be equation 2. Now we have found for the rustrum and the base. Now the cylindrical part, that is the stand of the bucket, is to be calculated. Therefore, cylinder, the area of the cylinder is 2 pi rh. That is equal to 2 into pi into r is 12.5, that is the bottom diameter, the radius into 6. 6 is the height of this cylinder. Therefore, that is pi into 2 into 12.5 is 25. 25 into 6 is 150. Therefore, pi into 150 centimeters square. Let it be equation 3. Adding these three, we will get the area of the metal sheet. Therefore, area of the metal sheet is given by pi into 1240.4 plus pi into 156.25 plus pi into 150 that is equal to pi into 1240.4 plus 156.25 <coughs> plus 150 that is equal to simplifying and putting the value of pi as 22 by 7 we get area of metallic sheet is equal to 4860.9 square centimeters. Please do this calculation yourself and check whether my calculations are working. Here the question ends because he has asked only the area of the metal sheet. In some other problem, they may ask us to find out the volume of the bucket. Therefore, volume. If this is not asked in the question, it is given by pi h divided by 3 into r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 r2. r1 and r2 are the, the diameters of the frustum of the cone. Therefore, that is equal to 22 by 7, pi is 22 by 7, h is 34 and 3 we are retaining as it is into r1 square is 22.5 whole square plus R2 square is 12.5 whole square plus R1 is 22.5 into 12.5. That is multiplying 
these are all to be squared squared and the answer is 33615.48 cubic centimeter this is the answer okay please practice it again and again analyze with respect to figure this is a very important problems you may get a four mark question for this please practice it okay thank you